Hey, what's up? So in this video, I'm gonna show you the updates to my first Airbnb property. We completely renovated it, so let's go. So this deck was primarily empty. What we did was added these cool lights. We added a barbecue and we added the table. Now we obviously have the super cool view, right? It's about to, it's like 7.30 at night, so it's, it's dimming down. But let's go inside and go look at the renovations really quick. So first and foremost, we updated the kitchen completely. So we got rid of that old oak kind of ugly wood and we paint, uh, painted the cabinets white. Um, they came out okay, not the best, but they look a lot better than what they were. <laughs> for, for the countertops, we went with an epoxy. So this is like an epoxy design. And then we did a subway tile. I actually chose the wrong size tile. You're supposed to use a smaller tile. Uh, so a uh, mistake that I learned, always measure your stuff your materials before you actually install it and know exactly what you're installing because I was buying everything from my contractor and sending it down to him without me ever looking at it. So that's a, that's a no. Uh, we put these black handles, which look awesome. So overall the kitchen looks pretty cool. Now to the floors, we put this vinyl plank flooring. Um, it's about two and a half to three dollars a square foot. And we got rid of the old shaggy carpet that was in here for Airbnb, right? We're in the keys. This house is in marathon Florida in the keys. You gotta just put some uh, stupid little designs to make it look full. And then the fans, we replaced all the fans. These were about 200 bucks, um, good for indoor and outdoor. Uh, couches, so this is a pullout couch. In every Airbnb, you should have a pullout couch uh, because you can sleep more guests and it allows you um, to get better ranking on Airbnb. So that's that, we put a nice smart TV so you have uh, YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, you don't gotta buy cable, and then more decorations, decoration. So let's go look at the bedroom. Uh, we put a Nest thermometer, that way we can control the temperature when guests aren't here. Uh, this is the bathroom. So this bathroom was old and disgusting before. We put a new vanity, we put new uh, sink, new toilet, new lights, and the coolest part is this awesome shower. So this is epoxy wall, it's very inexpensive, but very durable and it has a super cool design. It's a little dirty because I just uh, cleaned some stuff, but that is awesome. Super cheap, looks great. If you can find someone who does it, go for it. Now on to the guest room. So this room, just uh, simple and plain. We got the new fan, two beds. You got a full bed and you got a twin bed, some simple decorations, and we may or may not put a TV some rugs, but again, simple is better, but you can sleep two people here and one person there. That's a key. Instead of putting two twins, you get one extra person in this small house. And now off to the master, which we're still finishing. And we stuck a king bed. We just packed the room really, really tight. We put two nightstands, right? Two lamps, two nightstands, and we're gonna take this TV and we're gonna mount it there to make use of every single little crevice in this space. So uh, this bathroom was also updated. New toilet, new vanity, simple, simple, simple. <laughs> and then let's go back out. This house is gonna do probably 350 to $500 a night. It's a two bedroom, one bath. So in the Keys, very, very uh, limited space. And we're gonna call this house the Marathon Tree House because, come look at this. We're literally completely surrounded by trees. So it's super private, super tranquil. And we just kind of made it this little tree house theme. It's got this cool tree house color. So uh, that's it, quick video. Um, if you guys want to see the numbers on this video, go watch this video. I go through the number breakdown on an Excel sheet, the underwriting for this deal. So like and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.